Right, yeah, I'm going to keep going with this, man. I love this show. I watched it so many times, but um, I don't know, man. It's just some, it's just like the acting and the writing. It's just two people in a room. It's like every week he has a different patient, and we follow their story weekly. And then every Friday he goes to see his own therapist to, book, to talk about his patients and all the stress in his own life. It's a fucking comedy show, man. But I'd say HBO is funny. If I show, if I show you the um, picture... They'll probably get copyrighted, but now this is just to make people aware of it, man. There's a lot of shit on telly at the minute, all this crappy superhero stuff. Superhero stuff's alright, but yeah, I mean, it's too much bullshit. This might be a bit hard to find, but I highly recommend it, man. It's a fucking quality show. Alright, let's get back to it. Jim, can I say to myself, why isn't he shooting? Why didn't he blow him out of the sky? Now, maybe he's afraid that all the debris will fall on the people below, but but I know in the dream, the orders are to take that fucker down. So they're flying, they're flying real close like this and maneuvering, and our guy doesn't launch. And the enemy plane is getting away, and it's driving me crazy. I mean, shit, he's on his way to our base camp, and all the people on the ground below, they're waiting for him to take the MiG down, and they're bloodthirsty. And it doesn't happen. They just fly away. That's it. Hmm. So do you think you would have done better if you had been up there? Shit. You potted with his salt would have blown that asshole to kingdom come. And who, who is the pilot? Oh, maybe it's me. I don't know. You're the one who can't shoot. Why not? I don't know. Maybe, maybe because the other guy, the other pilot, is not that dangerous. I, I knew that. <laughs> He's only... What? He's only what? But who's, who, who's, who's sitting in the plane? So who's sitting in the enemy plane that you refuse to shoot down? I, I don't know. I don't know who's there. I, I don't know. No, who is the enemy? Hey, stop, else? man. Jeez, when you want to pressure, you pressure. I don't know. Who's my enemy? You? Is that how it feels? No, it's not you, because you're not there. I don't know. Maybe it's my father. What? What, you know the answer, but you don't want to... You want me to come up with it? No, it's 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 just a dream. I, I, I'm just I'm just helping you to, to, to look at it, that's all. Yeah, okay, well, then you must have uh, some chart or something around here telling telling you what every part of a dream represents in reality. No, no, not really. Sometimes a number of images can, can represent the same thing. So it's me? That's what you're saying, right? That, that I was the enemy pilot? I'm my own enemy. Well, look, it's not clear, actually, that he's even an enemy. I mean, it's not that he doesn't have identification marks on the plane. I, I'm just not familiar with it. I don't know for sure. But he is, he is trying to get away from you. What do, what do you think of this guy, this, this pilot, this fleeing pilot? I think he's a fucking coward. Oh, yeah? What else? He's not a man. He's running away like a pussy instead of turning around, standing on his ground, and fighting. I'm dying to come up to that pitiful fucker and shove an air-to-air -air missile up his rear burner. <laughs> theories. The only girls and fags see a shrink, so what if I'm a fag? You know, you said it very clearly before. Did I? Yeah, well, maybe you didn't say it, but you've been leading me there. I have. Yeah. You're dying to say it's a homosexual dream. I'm tailing him. Uh, I see a, a fire come out of his back burner. I want to shove my... Fits, doesn't it? Yeah. 
and Daniel never suspected it. I can explain a lot of things. What things? Laura, for instance. That lousy fuck we had the first time. And Michaela. The fact that I'm suddenly not attracted to her anymore. We saw each other this week at a restaurant and she wants me to come back home and thought it'd be better if we talked to each other in person. And she was, she was driving hard, man, just on a mission, just on an attack. And she wanted us to start off by getting a room ASAP. There's a hotel above the restaurant and I, I said, I couldn't, I couldn't. I told her I had somewhere to be that we would do it another time. No, I really did have something else to do that night. Supposed to go with Daniel and his uh, his partner Sean to a party. Do you understand? This amazing woman wants to fuck the shit out of me in a five star hotel, and instead I'm going to Georgetown with these two fags. Do you understand that? And and why do you think you'd rather spend time with uh, with them? <sighs> Everything's a joke with them. I don't know if you're familiar with their world, but their humor is in seeing everything from the outside, like they're not a part of it, like 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 they're above it. And and by they you mean you mean homosexual? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Especially Sean's crowd. I mean, he's genuinely queer. You know, he's not that kind of in conflict with himself. I mean, he's, this Sean is immune to tension. He's happy. He's happy all the time, and he, he just has no subconscious. Everything is. Right out in the open. Is that something that <clears throat> is that something that you envy? Well, they don't pressure me. I mean, they they give you shit to promote you, and they love that shit. But you know, Sean asked me, "Why do you always desperately try to please everybody all the time, God and country?" Everybody. But it's bullshit. I mean, with them, they don't care. They really don't care. They they don't demand of me to be anything extra. That night, we got home about 4 a.m., and uh, Daniel went to the bedroom, and Sean and I stayed out in the living room. He got a DVD, some gay porn thing, and I, I, look, I don't know if he was trying to provoke me or what. And uh, he even suggested afterwards I'd be ready for bed. He said it jokingly, but he wasn't playing. He told me once, I didn't know the meaning of life until I got fucked in the ass. read that psychologically water symbolizes emotions. I wonder what your collection of boats says about you. I don't know. Maybe that I'm an emotional wreck. Or maybe I want to go out to...